Good morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. Uh, I did. I slept so well. And it's starting to feel like vacation. Today also, it's not any day. It's my eighth year anniversary in sobriety. Um, so eight years ago, I woke up hangover for the last time in eight years. <laughs> um, and I had done MDMA is a close to ecstasy kind of drug that I didn't use a lot before I got sober so uh, I remember this is when I took my first step in in the program of recovery the 12 step program that I go to you say that the first step is to um, confess that you're powerless over alcohol and and in my case all mind-altering substances and that you no longer can control your life and um, and I remember I was in a taxi. We were going to a, fest a music festival in Stockholm called Summer Burst. And I was in a taxi with a lot of friends, you know, from New York. And, um, and they had MDMA in an Orangina bottle. And I was in the program of recovery. I had a sponsor and I was like working the steps. And I was thinking like, I can pretend that I didn't know it was drugs in the drink. And, uh, and I took a sip and, and, um, and two seconds later, I was like, oh my God, was it, was it drugs in that? And in that moment, I was like catching myself in the lie of, of uh, you know, um, alcoholism and drug addiction. Like, you know, I, I really, in that moment, I remember I realized if I didn't do the program properly, if I didn't follow my, my sponsor's suggestions, I would be totally fucked up because I would always find an excuse for myself to use and uh, and I got sincerely scared it was one of the most frightening moments in my life and uh, and um, and also one of the best moments it turned everything upside down and I was really really you know like a scared little schoolgirl. I started drinking when I was 14 um, and um, and it was like I was back there, you know, like I didn't have any confidence. I was like to totally insecure. And uh, I took it if one. Spot out. Spot out. Spot out. She's chewing something. Good. And she knows she's not allowed. So she's like laying on a good distance from me knowing she's doing something bad but it was one of the hardest and 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 life you know changing moments of my life it's the one of the best things that ever happened but when it happened it was absolutely awful you know the thing she was chewing um so i'm enormously grateful for that moment um when I took my first step and, uh, and, um, and I'm enormously grateful that I've been, you know, gifted with sobriety since that day, one day at a time. Uh, I'm also enormously grateful to, to celebrate it together with my family this year. Last year, I was in such a big crisis today, you know, like the seventh anniversary was really tough for me and uh, this year it feels amazing i have a baby you know cooking in the valley and uh, i have wonderful bonus kids and uh, and my boyfriend is fantastic um so i feel so so blessed and i also realized that without you know my higher power and, and the trusted program like i was absolutely powerless i couldn't do this on my own and also this yoga challenge being you know for me such an amazing success with 128,000 subscribers today um that is also not you know my doing that is god or you know i don't believe in a christian or you know like i believe in, in energy but I, I i show up you know that's what i do i come here i sit on my mat and i i record this but the rest is not my doing. The rest is, is you and the, 
and the higher power and uh, what a gift uh, to, to uh, share this journey of life together with you thank you for for being a part of my life and now let's get down on our sitting bones and straighten the back up i feel so much, i had so much pain in my body yesterday i think it was because of the uh, I take that thing she was reading. Uh, I think it was because of uh, the flight, you know, the pressure in the air and all of that. Um, so it's great to feel better now. Uh, I also feel, um, yeah, it's nice to you know swim in this in the pool and uh, activate the body without all the weight. I think I already gained like 18 kilos, so so it's really good for, for the body too. Uh, to, um, I don't know where I was going with that. But no, it's very good for the body not to get so pressured on the feet. I also got this, this uh, dress today <laughs> from Zara. Uh, I, just, I checked it out in Stockholm and I was like, oh, I want to use that for some celebration. And I saw it today in, in a mall here and I got it for myself as a eight year gift. So let's do some yoga. Get down on your sitting bones, straighten up your back, close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows. The third eye looking inwards. Penny, come it. Observe your breath and where in your body it's located. We're going to start taking control over our breath on the inhalation. Feel how your belly is expanding. On the exhalation, drag your belly button towards the sky. Move baby. Inhale. Exhale. start adding movements together with our breath so we're going to start with the hip roll inhale forward exhale the back inhale forward exhale the back tomorrow is penny's birthday she's turning one it's incredible you know how time flies my little baby, he's like one years old. Huh? Took a siesta today. So great to adjust to, you know, the uh, habits of the country where you are. The good ones. We're gonna switch direction.
we're gonna come down on our back. And lay your arms along the side your body on the inhalation. Come up on the exhalation. We're gonna do two more. Now we're gonna stretch out our full body. Let's come up. And we're gonna do a forward bend. So get down on your sitting bones, straighten your back up, exhale, come down. And breathe. On the inhalation, straighten up your back. On the exhalation, come down. Look who's back, huh? Hey, Yuki. Inhale, come up. Come back to the tailor's position. And we're gonna finish today's class with a short meditation. Get properly down on your sitting bones, straighten your back up. Penny. <laughs> Great position then. <laughs> Close your eyes, focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking in. Let this eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area, you find an inner room where you're going to spend some time just for yourself. There is nothing that has been and nothing that will come. It's only you in this moment. Today's class together with Trishanti. Place your palms together in front of your heart and inhale. Place your palm 
once you've read what you think it was every day to your mouth you to speak the truth and to your heart for you to follow your heart and to be kind to yourself and to other people namaste thank you so much for everything and for being a part of my life and uh and for being who you are. Remember to go out there and give. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao.